This is module 14.1 on angles formed by intersecting lines. Uh, your essential questions is, do I know all the terminology, the names of the angles formed by intersecting lines? And what are the relationships between the different angles when the lines are intersecting? Because we are in the um, angles formed by intersecting lines section module of the uh, book. Okay. So we're going to dive into relationships between different angles when the lines are intersecting. So your first slide here is when two lines intersect, they form all different type of uh, angle relationships. The angle relationships are vertical angles, linear pairs, complementary angles, and supplementary angles. Those are the four um, angle relationships we're gonna talk about. Some of them you guys already know, right, from the past, uh, which we'll just cover really quickly. The first one, vertical angles, is here. Vertical angles is when two lines intersect. The angles that are opposite each other are vertical angles, okay? Vertical angles are congruent, okay? Congruent, what that means, means that they are equal, okay? So how are they equal? Let me, just for example, if this angle was, let's say, 47 degrees, Okay, I'm going to label this angle one, angle two, and angle three, okay? If that angle right there is 47 degrees, what else do we know? Nick? How do we know that? So if we know that a line is 180 degrees, 47 plus angle one has to equal 180 degrees. So angle one must be 130 or 133. Right? Correct? So if you look at the other line, angle 47 and angle three must be 180 degrees. So this guy has to be 133 degrees as well. Okay, if you look at angle two and angle three, they must be 180 degrees. So 133 minus, or 180 minus 133 is 47 degrees. So you can see that angle one and angle three are congruent to each other. Okay, that's what vertical angles mean. Okay, that the Angles that are opposite each other are equal, okay? And what we just did with the 47 degrees and the 133 degrees, they are called linear pairs. Linear pairs are two adjacent angles where the sides are opposite rays and they equal 180 degrees. Opposite rays meaning ray O, Q, and OP, okay? OQ and OP are opposite rays. So what they mean is angle one, measure of angle one, plus the measure of angle two equals 180 degrees. All right? Okay. Opposite rays will always form a line. And we know a line always equals 180 degrees. Okay? 
Cool. So that's the second um, vocabulary word on relationships. The fourth or the third and the fourth one are complementary and supplementary angles. Complementary angles are when two, when the sum of two angles is equal to 90 degrees. And the supplementary angles are when two, when the sum of two angles equals 180 degrees. All right, in this picture, these supplementary angles are also called, also known as um, linear pairs. Okay. And we can draw a box around uh, um, the 90 degrees because that box right here means that they are complementary or means that they are a right angle, okay? Cool. Now those are the four different types of relationships. We are gonna do some Delta math um, examples here. Name the marked angles in two different ways. Now here is the marked angle. You guys cannot see that, right? And here, when we're marking angles, or we're, when we're la labeling angles, we can label it, we're giving them like a roadmap. You can think of the angle measure as a map, and you're telling them, hey, look, I'm talking about this angle here. I'm talking about point L, M, you go from L, go to M, and then from M, you go to O. So I can say angle, that's the angle um, marking, L, M, O. What else is there? How else can I label this angle? I can go from L, M to O, or yeah, O, M, L. Okay, I can just go back, right? So I can say O, M, L. Okay, either way works. If there was a one and if there was a two here, I could also say angle one. So all of them work. All right, we're just giving them a road map to it. Okay. The next delta math example here. Find the measure of the missing angle. Okay. B and C. If this is 118. What is angle B? Angle B and angle 118 degrees are vertical angles. Okay, they're vertical angles. What do you know about vertical angles? They are congruent, right? So measure of angle B equals, if B is vertical to 118, then angle B has to be equal to 118. Okay? And notice that angle C and 118 degrees make a line, right? So angle C, and 118 degrees, they are called linear pairs.
So they have to add up to 180. So measure of angle C equals 180 minus 118. So then that is 62 degrees. Right? Okay. Simple, right? What about this one? What do we do here to find angle A? One eighty minus twenty nine. That's okay. That's one fifty one degrees. All right, cool. What about this picture? We have to get X and Y here. So we know, ang we know this box, right? We just went over this box. Whenever we label angles with boxes, they equal 90 degrees. Right. Oh. Okay. So I know angle X is going to equal 90 minus 33, which is 57 degrees. And I also know that angle Y equals 90 minus X which is 33 degrees, okay? 33 degrees because X is 57. And I did it quickly because I just switched these. Yeah. Cool? Questions on the uh, examples that we went through? No? And okay, now moving forward, what about this picture? Start off with any one of them, guys. Okay, you don't have to go in order. Any angle, give me the um, angle measure. Okay, let's talk about this. I want to start with this top one here, 63. If this is 63 degrees, we know angle G is 63 degrees because they're vertical, right? If this is 63 degrees, then H is 180 minus 63 because they're linear pairs. So that would be 117, 117, right? Okay. Now if I move it down, angle K is 29 degrees because angle K and angle 29 are vertical angles. Angle M is going to be 180 minus 29 which is 151 degrees, okay, cool. All right, now for the last three, four examples. Okay, we have this and it says solve for the value of A. What do you know about A plus 50 equals 90? So 8A plus 50 equals 90. So if I subtract 
50 from both sides, 8a equals 40. So that subtracted 50. So a would equal, if I divide both sides by 8, to 5. Okay? So we're just working with this, and we're just doing a little bit of algebra, right, to get all the... Um, the values of the variable. Okay, what is this? The whole thing equals 180, right? So if I have 90 of the 180, I could just 180 minus 90. Yeah. 180 minus 90 is 90. So if I just take this away, then these two angles here has to equal 90. You guys got that? If you guys didn't, then I'll I'll start from the top. So I know 2k minus 2 plus k plus 2 plus 90 equals 180. Right? Because it's a it's a full line or it's a line. So 2k plus k, that's 3k. Minus 2 plus 2, they would cancel out. Subtracting 90 from both sides, I would have 3K equals 90, right? Divide by 3, divide by 3K equals 30. Okay? You can check your work by just plugging it in. 30 plus 2 is 32. 2 times 30 is 60. Minus 2, that's 58. 58 plus 32 plus 90, that has to equal 180. Does it? 5, 8, 170, 180. Yeah. So you check your work, okay? Okay. This one, it says if measure of angle M, where's M? Here's M. R, J, angle three here, equals 116. Then what is the measure of M, R, K, this angle here? We will just go 180 minus 116, right? That would equal 164 degrees, okay? All right, moving on. If measure of angle E, H, D, angle six here is 106 degrees, then F, H, C, this angle here is equal to 106 as well because they are vertical. Right? Yeah, so this section, we are just essentially using the angle measures to figure out the angle measures. We're using the relationships of the angle measures to figure out the angle measures. Okay? Really simple. Any last minute questions? Vertical angles are always congruent. Linear pairs are two are equal to 180 degrees. Supplementary angles are equal to 180 degrees. And complementary angles are equal to 90. Right? 
that's the lesson for today. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.